What's going on, world? DS1 Ross, and we back here on Sheep Stay Sleep TV. Shout out to everybody who support this platform. Much love. I appreciate all the love and the support. We are back here with episode five of the Esoteric Red Pill Talk series. With me, DS1 Ross, I appreciate all the love and support. Now, before we get into this episode, make sure you check out episodes one through four. Make sure you go and check out episodes one through four. I appreciate everyone who has been tuning into the series. I'm getting great feedback. I appreciate all the love and the support. Stay tuned for more of this series. Now, in this episode, we will be talking about YouTube gynocrats and succubi. YouTube gynocrats and succubi. Now, what made me come up with this? For the past couple days, you know, y'all know me, how I scour the YouTube streets, and I found this older, older black woman. And um, I was checking out her channel. And I'm not going to lie. The lady is very entertaining. She's crazy as hell. You can tell she's suffering from a lot of trauma. Right? You can tell that <clears throat> she's a gynocrat. You can tell. You know, she live in a projects. She, you know, she's in her 50. She's just, you know, she got that real raspy type of voice. She's just, you could tell she's, she's had it rough. I'm going to just say that. And the other day, I was watching her channel. I saw something that was so disturbing. I had to speak on it. And what I'm noticing is there's a lot of women on YouTube that are like this. There are a lot of gynocrats. And when I say gynocrats, I don't mean just in their rhetoric. There's a lot of women on here who display gynocratic behavior. But what takes the cake with this story is this woman was actually doing a show about her son. Yes, she was doing a show about her son. Now, in this show, in this live stream, she was trashing him, calling him all types of names, saying he's never going to be nothing. He was never nothing. Now, mind you, this woman, while she was saying all of this about her son, she was also admitting that she left her son in the hospital at birth. She left her son in the hospital at birth and she didn't see her son again until he was five years old. And she's now on the internet trashing him. Her son is now 31 years old and she expects her son to get over what she put him through. Now, mind you, the reason why she's getting at her son is because her son was on a YouTube platform, another stream, talking about her, his mother, 
basically outing his mother on another YouTuber's platform who she has beef with. Now, as we know, as we know, this is a common thing on YouTube, especially when you beefing and people are doxing people. Sometimes you can get someone's family member. You may can even pay someone's family member to come up there and go in on your family. And that's what I think happened in this situation, but which I don't agree with. I don't agree with the dude coming on YouTube and out in his mom's. You know, because I went through a I went through a lot of traumatic things with my mother, but I would never team up with somebody else to go against my mother. If I was to go against my mother, it'll be me by myself. You know, because I would want to rectify the situation that me and her have. Not with, you know, I, I wouldn't, it doesn't make no sense or you cannot rectify your situation with teaming up with somebody else who has a situation well too. You see, so I don't agree with what dude did, but when his mother responded the way she did on her stream, I see why he did what he did. That woman is a demon. She's a, this woman has issues. She's a wicked woman. And she has destroyed her family. And this is the icing on the cake. This is what solidified the gynocracy. And why her son is destroyed today as a man. On her live stream, she called her daughter, which is one of his sisters, and they both was trashing him, saying how he's never going to be nothing, he never was nothing, he don't deserve nothing. You know, the mother started bragging. Well, not the mother, the gynocrat started bragging about how she just got all of this money. And, you know, she was talking about how she was telling the daughter, rather, you know, I just hit you off. You better not give your brother nothing. I'm not giving him nothing. You know, it was like, a, I would say almost if it wasn't a two hour stream, it was over two hours. Where this woman was going crazy on her son online. This is her only son, by the way. I mean, it was heartbreaking, man. It was heartbreaking because now I'm really starting to see, you know, ever since I came on YouTube. I really learned how much black men are hurting out here. See, a lot of people get on here and they talk about, you know, why black men are behind. And it's it's not as simple as y'all think. A lot of black men are beaten down. And and it's easy for you to say, oh, you're a man, you know get up and go through it. But no, that shit is a process. You know, to be abandoned by your mother at five years old. And, and nine times out of 10, he probably didn't know his father. So what does this man grow into becoming? How does he grow up and have any ambitions? 
See, I spoke about this in a previous stream. When, when you're raised on survival versus being taught how to live your life. See, when you're raised in dysfunction, you don't understand how to live and you're not taught how to live. You're taught how to survive. And that is what that guy had to learn. That is what all black men have to learn that come from the gynocracy, who come from a family full of gynocrats. Especially when your mother or your grandmama is the gynocrat. You know, because some of us, we may come from a gynocracy, but our mothers may not be gynocrats. You might have gynocratic aunts. It may be your grandmama. It might not be so much as your mother. She may not be worse as everybody else. You know, she may not be as bad. But a lot of y'all brothers here on YouTube, man, y'all don't understand that a lot of brothers are behind the ball because the dysfunction, the abuse, it's not just coming from, oh, I come from poverty and all of that. No. Things come with that. You know, that guy was homeless. The woman, the woman was making fun at the fact that her son was sleeping in the park. She was making fun of this. See, these is the type of demonic entities that we, we are faced with at a young age. This is the gynocracy. This is, and, and y'all are running around here acting like this shit don't exist. Feminism is the religion of the gynocracy. Feminism is the religion of the gynocracy. And that woman destroyed her son. And she still expect him to be a functioning man. She still expect this man to accomplish things at a high level. After being abandoned at birth. And then meeting your mother again at five years old. And then ever since you knew her, all she did was abuse you. This woman destroyed all her children. She admitted it. She admitted it that she was, you know, not a good mother. A horrible mother. A demon. She admitted how she ran the streets. How she picked hustling over her children. But these gynocrats get on YouTube, right? And, and want to play mommy to other YouTubers. They want to sit here and play mommy to, to other women. When all they're running around doing is spreading their religion, which is feminism. They're running around trying to recruit. These women are terrible on YouTube and they're terrible in real life. These YouTube gynocrats. This is why when you find out about their real life, you find out they pieces of trash. They are, they are bad people, man. See, it has nothing to do with them so much of them being women. It's their spirit. They're, they're horrible people. Everywhere they go, they, they, they destroy. They destroy, they even destroyed the same things that came out of their body. They destroyed it.
They've destroyed it. This is why they come on YouTube and cause destruction. Come on here and cause chaos. Come on here, team up with other women, get with other women and, and, and do little foul things. Get other women to do little foul things behind the scenes. But that story was disgusting, man. That 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 is something that we should have not had have, have witnessed. But I'm glad we did, because the spirit never lied. See, at the beginning of the year, I said destruction begets destruction, and the people who've created destruction on here. The people who've partaken in the destruction of people and who have not repented and turned away from that stuff, man, they will be destroyed. They're going to destroy themselves. She was one of them. She did a lot of foul things, but she did a stream saying how she was leaving YouTube, how she's not coming back. Because she realized what she's done. See, this is what happens when a demon gets the light shine on them. They run for, for hiding. That's why she says she's not coming back because she's embarrassed. Because now people are talking about the shit she's done. And she's not proud of it. But see, when you don't get them demons up out of your spirit, them demons take over you. And you, and you don't know how to control them. So the times when you think everything is going good and you just spin out of control. And when you look at these, these, these gynocrats lives, because a lot of these YouTube gynocrats, they get doxxed. And, and, and when you find out about them, you find out that their life is just as chaotic. And they come on YouTube to find somewhere else to cause chaos. And see, it's the same thing with the YouTube succubi. See, there's a lot of women on here who are out to cause dissension. And what they like to do is they like to latch on to certain people and try to basically use that person as a shield, use that person as a guide. But the whole time, all they're doing is just sucking their energy. And using that energy for comfort while they go around and do evil and do wickedness in other places. But they come and they latch on to you. They always run back to you. See, this is why if you're a content creator, and this is to all the people who want to become content creators, stay away from having friends, man. You know, especially people who don't create content because 
a lot of times it's not it's not genuine. It's not genuine. You know, and you don't want to get caught up with a YouTube succubi or or a YouTube incubus. Because a lot of guys on here too, they will latch on to you because they see women like you. Women come in your chat room. Women communicate with you. So they'll get cool with you so they could come in your chat room and holler at all the women. See, so you have to be aware of these people here on YouTube, man. Because they they mean you no good. They're parasites. They're only there to use you. They're only there to, to feed off of you. And then when they can't, they're gonna they're gonna scurry away. Or when they feel like you figured them out, they're gonna run away. So beware of the YouTube gynocrats and the succubi and the incubus too. You know, stay sucker free, man. Shout out to the masculine mercenaries. One love to the matter mercenaries. Make sure you like the video, share, subscribe, check out episodes one through four. This was episode five, Esoteric Red Pill Talk. I'm your host, DS1 Ross, the Sheep Stay Sleep TV. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace.